Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel talk shows. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sonny was seated right by husband Manny Houston while in attendance at the basketball game in New York's Madison Square Garden. The view host raised her hands and cheered for the Knicks several times and looked to be having a good time in several snaps taken during the game. But according to fans, she and her rarely photographed spouse ended up having to cut their time at the game short. In a post from the Jewelry Edit, a female-founded company that focuses on ethically made jewelry pieces, a curious fan asked about Sunny recently attending the game and seemingly disappearing. I was watching the Knicks game. I saw Sonny at courtside. Did you leave early? They did a celebrity check-in, so we missed you, one follower asked. We did leave at halftime, Sonny responded to the fan in another comment on the post. Dr. Hostin had to see patients in the morning, and I have some hot topics to see about. But go K and I see Cass, she continued. The 55-year-old didn't elaborate beyond that, but was not seen again for the duration of the game. Oopsess. Earlier in November, Sunny begged The View's host to move on after she inadvertently revealed a tidbit about her daughter. Actor Ed Helms of The Office fame joined The View's panelists during a recent episode to promote his new body-swapping movie Family Switch. The holiday movie finds Ed's character switching bodies with a teenager due to a planetary alignment. The entire family follows suit, leading to plenty of holiday hijinks. You know, I saw my 17-year-old daughter in the movie, Sunny told Ed. She saw a lot of her only daughter, Paloma, in the movie. Ed pointed out that he was able to draw experiences from his own teenager to play his role as the father. I love the movie because it was my life, Sonny explained. The messy bedroom and all. She's gonna hate I just said that, so let me move on. She continued with a sheepish grin after realizing she just slipped up and told a personal detail about Paloma. Sonny laughed and looked over to Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi smiled knowingly and nodded as Sonny asked, Am I right? The 55-year-old repeated that she needed to move on. She didn't explain why Paloma might hate her mentioning the messy room, but she quickly changed the subject. Feeling Sen and I? During a recent episode of The View, fans in the audience were shocked after Sonny Hostin admitted her real age. During Whoopi Goldberg's birthday celebration, the host discussed the perception of women aging in society. The host chatted about how supermodel and actress Carol Alt is starting an OnlyFans account at 62. Carol's account will include tastefully done nude photos. The intention, Whoopi explained, is to show how beautiful women could be at any age. I think it will make a lot of people feel like that, Sunny admitted. Because I'm 55 now, she said as she deepened her voice jokingly. I'm still saying it like that, Sunny repeated, saying I'm 55 now in a funny voice once more. In this business in particular, and in a lot of businesses, any woman over 50 is dead, she said. Well, that's what they'd like you to think, Whoopi joked after Sunny's revelation. After Sunny made her admission, that prompted fans to chime in on social media about what they thought. One wrote, Oh wow, hashtag Auntie Sunny is 55 and I'm 50, hashtag The View. Another commented, I cannot believe Sunny is 55. A third fan wrote incredulously, Sunny is 55? Ain't no way. Sunny says he saw her eat. Sunny made another interesting personal admission recently. She got very personal on Thursday's installment of The View, Behind the Table podcast. Executive producer Brian Tedda caught up with Sunny, 55, for their weekly chat on the podcast when he mentioned that he recently discovered that his colleague used to date a well-known actor. 
He revealed that Sonny was romantically involved with The Cosby Show's Carl Anthony Payne, 54, who played Cockroach on the series. I hate that that was his name on the show. Yes, his name is Carl Anthony Payne, in real life. I called him Anthony, Sonny noted. He was on the sitcom Martin. He directs now also. He's a working actor, the talk show host explained. Sonny then detailed her relationship with the TV star, his co-stars on the show, and other big-name celebrities. I would hang out with Anthony and Malcolm Jamal Warner, she said. They were good friends with Chris Rock, so I actually hung out with Chris. Brian then asked when their relationship came to be, to which Sonny replied it was the late 80s. Okay, so he's on the Cosby show at this point. Did you visit the set? Brian prodded. Yes, I did. I met Bill Cosby. I met Felicia Rashad. I still know her, Sonny said.